chief of Korea's presidential national security office tells Washington that South Korea wants to contribute more to the fight against the extremist group known as the Islamic State. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe uses a case of erroneous reporting by a major Japanese newspaper as fodder to deny Tokyo's historical wartime sexual slavery. The case of the bitter rivalry in the washing machine market goes to the prosecutor's office as an investigation begins into whether LG executives deliberately damaged Samsung products on display. Hello and welcome to News Today on KBS World. It's Monday, September 15th. I'm Sean Lim. We begin with the latest from the Presidential National Security Office Chief's visit to Washington. Kim Guan Jin indicated Korea's willingness to contribute additional funding for America's efforts to dismantle the extremist group known as the Islamic State. Also on the table may be more humanitarian aid for Iraqi refugees who have been driven from their homes. The Korean government has provided $1.2 million in aid to Iraqi refugees driven out of their homes by the Islamic State, a coalition of Sunni-led rebel forces. Upon his arrival in the U.S., Korea's presidential national security office chief Kim Guan Jin hinted at additional support for Washington's plan to dismantle the extremist Islamic group. However, Korea's top security advisor made it clear that Korea has not received any requests to provide military support in any form, including transportation and logistics. He also said discussions about issues pertinent to wartime command transfer, such as its exact timing, are making progress. As for the introduction of the controversial Terminal High Altitude Area Defense Program, Kim said decisively that there had been no official notification or agreement between Seoul and Washington. His remark has effectively squashed speculations about South Korea possibly adopting thought. Kim will stay in the U.S. for three days and will discuss the North Korean nuclear program and other North Korea-related issues with White House National Security Advisor Susan Rice. Japan's premier daily Asahi Shimbun claims it published erroneous articles about Japan's role in forcing Korean women into sexual slavery during World War II. And that's prompted Prime Minister Shinzo Abe to not only deny the historical atrocity, but also use the recent event as leverage in Tokyo's relations with Seoul. The Shinzo Abe administration is on the offensive once again regarding comfort women. Tokyo had been keeping quiet about the sexual enslavement issue in the wake of international condemnation, calling it the worst human rights violation of women in the 20th century. Asai Shimbun has retracted some of its articles about the forced recruitment of sex slaves, and the company's president has even apologized for the erroneous reports. Soon afterwards, Prime Minister Shinzo Abe appeared in a TV debate program to say that the claims of women forced into providing sex against their will were completely groundless. He also said Japan should inform the world of the truth, implying that he would use the Japanese newspaper's erroneous coverage as leverage in Tokyo's relations with Seoul. Since the comfort woman issue has been the sticking point for Korea-Japan relations, Prime Minister Abe's remarks imply that the Japanese newspaper's misreporting will be used to pressure the Korean government and fight off any negative sentiments towards Japan. Even a right-wing opposition party has come out in support of the Abe administration, saying that Asahi Shimbun's officials should be summoned to the parliament. The Abe government is likely to step up efforts to capitalize on Asahi Shimbun's false reports about the Korean sex slaves. Now on to the still developing story of a middle school student whose farewell letter says his teacher drove him to suicide. The youth had recently been punished by authorities for smoking, but the boy's family claims the school went too far. This middle school is located in Samcheok, Gangwon province. 
On September 12, a student identified only by his family name, Saul, committed suicide. In his suicide note, Saul wrote that he took his own life because his teacher punished him severely and even swore at him. The boy's friends say that Saul had been having a hard time after he was punished on several occasions by school authorities three months ago for smoking. The boy's family says that judging by the bruises on his body, he was likely physically abused by his teacher. However, school authorities denied allegations of physical punishment, citing that the boy was only ordered to submit a written apology and to run around the stadium. Police will soon summon Saul's teacher for further investigation. Prosecutors are now investigating LG Electronics over allegations that its top executives deliberately damaged products of its rival Samsung Electronics during a major trade show in Germany. Here's more on the case of a washing machine rivalry gone sour. The incident took place at a home electronics store in Berlin, Germany. On September 3rd local time, three washing machines of the latest model that were on display by Samsung Electronics were found broken. Their doors didn't close properly because someone had pushed them hard from above, breaking the hinges. Samsung Electronics released these products back in June. They boast wide opening doors that can open up to 170 degrees to maximize user convenience. Samsung Electronics asserts that security camera footage shows the CEO of LG Electronics, identified only by his family name Joel, breaking the doors. On the same day, an LG Electronics executive allegedly damaged the washing machines of the same model at another store in Berlin. At the time, a large European exhibition dedicated to home electronics was underway in Berlin. Samsung Electronics requested prosecutors to investigate the matter because they claim LG executives damaged its products to stain its reputation. LG Electronics denied the accusation and promised to cooperate in the investigation. The prosecutors investigating the scandal will soon summon those involved. This year's unusually early Chuseok holiday created opportunities for farmers who could get their crops out in time. But for those who are just harvesting, the anticipated glut and supply have many worried about fetching a good price in the market. Rice harvesting is taking place on vast golden rice fields. The farmers planted an early ripening rice variety for the Chuseok holiday. But this year's unusually early Chuseok has delayed the harvest to come after the peak holiday season. For 70 percent of the fast-growing rice variety planted in this area, harvest has just begun. The supply of new rice has soared after the peak holiday passed, causing market prices to fall more than 10 percent. Chuseok 지나고 나서는 소비가 분화되기 때문에. The situation is even worse for fruit produce. Post Chuseok output volumes for apples, pears, and peaches are expected to increase by more than 50 percent. Consequently, their prices will likely fall 30 to 40 percent. Chestnuts and dates, which will be in season soon, will also be abundant in supply. Farmers are again worried about increased output and declining prices. Farmers who could not take advantage of the high holiday demands are now worried about plunging prices caused by high crop output. Sales of anti-smoking products have soared after the government announced its plan to raise cigarette prices. Meanwhile, for the first time since the Seoul Ferry disaster, operation of cargo vessels between Incheon and Jeju will resume. After the government announced its move to raise cigarette prices on September 11th, sales of electronic cigarettes and other anti-smoking products have soared. 
The internet shopping mall G-Market says its sales of anti-smoking products doubled from the same period a year ago. Sales of electronic cigarettes in particular surged more than tenfold. Another internet shopping mall called 11th Street says its sales of electronic cigarettes quadrupled year on year. Moreover, they recorded the highest level this year on the day the government announced the rise in cigarette prices. The operation of cargo vessels between Incheon and Jeju is to resume for the first time in five months. The route was closed after the Sewar ferry disaster. The Ministry of Oceans and Fisheries says that starting on September 23rd, cargo vessels owned by Cheyang Logitech will operate between Incheon and Jeju three times a week. Starting in early October, cargo vessels of Mide Shipping will operate between Gyeongin Port and Jeju Island. Ranches in Taegwalyong, Gangwon Province have become popular tourist destinations with their hands-on educational programs. For example, visitors can directly touch and feed cows and sheep. Here's a look. Dairy cows graze peacefully in their pastures. Visitors and their families take photos of themselves at the farm with the animals. They try to feed the big cows. Scared of a cow, a child refuses to get closer despite her father's encouragement. This ranch runs a hands-on program enabling visitors to touch and feed the livestock. A nearby sheep farm which opened in 2004 is also becoming popular among tourists. In Dequaryong alone, three ranches attract tourists with their interactive tour programs. The ranches have introduced such tour programs because it became difficult for them to stay afloat just by raising cattle and sheep. The ranches on Daekwaryong were once the leaders in the Korean livestock industry, but these days they have transformed into popular tourist destinations. As Korean stars have increasingly become trendsetters, Korean fashion companies are tightening their partnerships with celebrities who can whet the appetites of their global fans. Korean idol groups Big Bang and 21 wore clothes that Korean fashion company Jair Industries produces in collaboration with the star's agency YG Entertainment. 단순한 단발성 협업을 떠나서 전 세계인들이 좋아하는 컬러, 디자인, 취향 등을 공동 연구 개발하고 그리고 홍보나 마케팅 등도 공동으로 같이 진행하고 있습니다. Jail Industries will introduce the new items in its stores in Seoul, Milan, and Shanghai within this month. However, the video clips of the stars wearing the clothes were released in advance, and the company is receiving a stream of inquiries from their fans overseas. The company is aiming to earn over 96 million U.S. dollars in sales within three years. Korean music is globally recognized and everybody is very interested. I think it's, it's a very interesting first time that this happens in the fashion world. Korean businesses set up promotional booths next to the venue where CJ Group held a large-scale K-pop concert. The use of K-pop music in a Korean designer's fashion show created synergy. 최근에는 이제 한류가가 소비재 이제 재화하고 엮여서 이제 나가는 경우가 좀 많이 생긴 것 같고요. 우리나라 뭐 수출이라든가 대외 이미지, 기업 브랜드 가치 이런 거 높이는데 상당히 도움이 될것 같아요. Domestic fashion companies have teamed up with the K-pop industry to develop more overseas markets. Sweet taste is hard to resist, but you may want to hold back after seeing our next report on the health hazards posed by sugary food ingredients, including the popular high fructose corn syrup. Cool drinks are indispensable in the hot summer season, but a growing number of consumers these days prefer health drinks. You can choose from a wide variety of products labeled as sugar-free and no artificial additives, but even sugar-free products can be far from safe. 
That's because they're made with high fructose corn syrup, which is an artificial sweetener. The fine print on the back side of the product says so too. 액상 과당은 옥수수 등의 전분을 효소로 처리해서 과당을 만들고 포도당과 혼합한 액으로 설탕보다 단맛이 강하고 음료, 빵, 과자 등의 가공 식품에 감미료로 사용되고 있습니다. Corn syrup is widely used these days as it's safe to process and it's cheaper to make. Product labels usually don't specify the amount of corn syrup contained in the product. Unlike regular sugar, which contains various kinds of sugars, corn syrup is easily absorbed by the body because it consists of glucose and fructose. Sugar is known to be a bigger culprit of obesity and all kinds of chronic diseases than fat. Back in April, the World Health Organization slashed the recommended daily amount of sugar consumption. 일반적으로 1일 당분 섭취량은 총 섭취 에너지의 10% 이내, 즉 2,000 칼로리를 섭취하는 성인의 경우 50g을 권장하고 있습니다. 그러나 최근에 WHO에서는 이를 5%로 하향 조정해서 25g을 권장하고 있습니다. The recommended daily amount of sugar for an adult is 25 grams. That's tantamount to 8 sugar cubes. Then how much sugar do processed foods contain? Drinks that claim to be healthy contain eight sugar cubes. Just one glass of this drink fulfills the recommended daily intake of sugar. Orange juice contains on average 12 sugar cubes. And pastry with cream is just as sweet as 12 sugar cubes. In all, processed foods available in stores contain more than half of the recommended daily sugar intake. Then how can we consume sugar in a healthy way? When buying processed foods, check the ingredients thoroughly rather than just trusting the sugar-free label. Drinking water and tea rather than sweet drinks is also a healthy way to quench your thirst. If your child only eats sweetened food, use less refined sugar or honey. Juices made of fresh fruit contain plenty of sugar, so eat the fruit by chewing it rather than grinding it into juice. With corn syrup being a major culprit of obesity, it's important for food manufacturers to clearly label all the ingredients so that consumers can make healthier choices. Now we'll take a look at the markets, followed by the world weather. And that's it for this edition of News Today. We'll see you back the same time tomorrow. Thanks for watching.